crossing from Proto to the other side of the Dora River, Villa Nova di Gaia has kept its characters in which wine cellars scatter along the river. The upper Dora Valley, where the port wine grapes grow, is one of the oldest vineyard regions. When you go up the river from around 80 kilometers from here, you actually get across a series of mountains which actually operate as a natural barrier preventing the Atlantic winds from crossing this barrier and transporting humidity. Because of that, the entire Dolu Valley is very, very dry with uh, very high temperatures, not only very high temperatures in summertime, but very low temperatures also during the entire year, but predominantly at night. In Dolu Valley, grapes are planted on terraces which are too narrow for mechanical work. So the manual labor is the only way to harvest grapes. They descended from here, they went down the river. Nowadays we have several dams, but they still have, um, they have mechanisms which actually allow them to actually go up into, in terms of levels. And so there are even you know, boats and cruises going up the river. But in the old days, this was a rather capricious river. It was actually very difficult and very, um, very dangerous even. But these smaller, bar uh, these smaller boats actually went down the river filled with smaller barrels which actually allowed them to have some stability because of the weight. And they went down the river and ended their journey here in Villanova de Gaia where they would be unloaded onto the lodges. There are always several Rabello boats berthed at the Doro River. Nowadays, these Rabello boats are only for display, but back in the old times, they were in practical use. But our vineyards, as you travel east, a hundred kilometers up from here, which is a very mountainous region. And this region, to get there, in the old days, used to be very, very difficult. And so the flat bottom boats, the barco velos, it was the method used to bring the port down in the spring uh, on these boats from the vineyards down to our lodges where the port then goes into its second, second phase of life which is the aging in the lodges and then the blending. The shape of the boat is particularly designed to sail speedily on the Doro River as the river dries up in the summertime. So the only time of the year that the port came down would be in the spring, when, the, when the, the waters were flowing fast. So what these boats have is a very flat bottom. So they almost skim across, the, the, particularly in the rapids, the, the rocky parts of the river. Being wood, they're very sturdy. They can always take with a bit of a bump. But, uh, and then they've got to have a wide enough surface then to be able to take <coughs> When uh, in the days that they were being loaded, they would come all the across to the front and too high. And uh, so they're very, very wide. In order to carry on and memorize the tradition of Rabello boats, the first race began on 24th of June, St. John's Day in 1983, and it's been held annually since then. Clients, families and friends of Porto Wine companies are all invited to join this race. This is the Cullen boat. Mr. Alves has taken part in the competition for four years, and last year his team won the race. I'm prepared to win. I'm prepared to win. But if we want to win, uh, it's not a problem because it's a, uh, the, the company is a friend, the, is a, is a, a joke uh, race. Uh, every people is a friend. Yeah. Is a, if I don't win, I don't have a problem. Racing on the historical transportation route, the sails belly out in the wind and offer the sellers the best advertising opportunity. Each boat belongs to one of the port houses and uh, uh, traditionally these boats used to belong to, to, to locals who would bring the boat down and some port houses would have had their own. But uh, what happens today is, uh, as they're here really very much as an exhibit, each port house has its own barco available and that's why <coughs> we have them identified on the flag of the boat with the port house it belongs to. 
The Dawn, a man in a cape with wide brimmed hat, is the first iconic logo of Porto Wine and later becomes the logo of Sandman White Brand. The costume can therefore be seen everywhere on the competition site. In fact, from the trophy to the medal, everything is elaborately designed in relation to wine. But probably our most distinguishing feature is what we call our Dombladeira. A Dombladeira, the Portuguese term, is uh, in the wineries, it is made with this shape, but larger, in white ceramic. And it, it is used to put uh, a wine in the fermentation to have a look at the color of the wine, and then the taster uses it to taste it as well. And that, we chose that as our symbol. To protect the exclusive wine region, Doro Valley, all the wine sellers are willing to sponsor the annual race, as well as the maintenance and the repair of Rabella boats. Thanks to this event, the traditional way of carrying wine barrels can therefore be remembered.